Good morning, Cyber Warrior is going to show you two quick ways to elevate your permissions from a command shell, whether it's PowerShell or the command prompt. So let's get right to it. Start process. And we're going to run the command for PowerShell. ISE. With PowerShell, we give it a verb and we're going to tell it run as. And this, after a brief coffee break, this will open up a new window for us. Three hours later. Three hours later. Okay, here we go. Finally, it finished running. So there we have brand new administrator console. Let's do the same thing, this time with a command prompt. You'll notice the command is a bit different. In the previous one, we're actually just going and doing a starting of a process. We tell it the command or the process name that we want it to run, and then we tell it to run as. However, with command prompt, you start with run as. And then we're going to give it a user. And even though this account, Riley, that we're logged into is an administrator, we're not running as an administrator level privilege. So we want to just tell it administrator. Making sure that administrator is actually the name uh, that is enabled on your system. And we're going to tell it command.exe. And voila. You'll notice that PowerShell didn't prompt you for the password. It's because it understands that you, Riley, are an administrator and you have the authority to run as administrator. Um, if I told it to run as Riley again with command prompt, it would still run it just as the regular user level permissions, not the as elevated administrator credentials. So there's two different ways to sit there and elevate your uh, credentials or your console just in case you open up the wrong one and you need to be an administrator to run whatever commands you want. That's it for today's video. I hope you learned something. As always, happy hunting and I'll see you in the next video. Three hours later. The virtual machine is slow today.